two years. I'm just updating y'all on me here at this point. You know what, with mukbangs, I'm just gonna talk. And hell, you could like it or not, I don't even care anymore. Um. What's up y'all, it's your girl Nick G, the host, and today, I'm back with another freaking video, and it's another mukbang, you dig what I'm saying? Yes, sir, ski. I want y'all to know I eat all the time. You know what I'm saying? You gotta eat. You gotta eat to survive. Right? And we're having some Panera. The tuna. The tuna sandwich. With some broccoli and cheese soup. Let, may we all lift up and pray. Thank you, Jesus. All right. And a shout out to TT for buying me. Very aggravated. I accidentally yeah. deleted a video. Oh, <sighs> Thumbnail. All right, so like I told you, I got a tuna sandwich and some broccoli and cheese soup. And today, you know what? I'm just gonna talk. I like. No, I don't. I, I was gonna lie and say I like to talk. I don't like to talk. However, talking is good for the spirit. I feel like <clears throat> a lot of us don't talk that much anymore because we out of touch with damn reality. Reality used to be pick up the damn phone, talk to somebody, or talk to somebody at school, talk to somebody somewhere. Um, the world is not like that no more. If it's not textable, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's terrible. What do I do? I need the memory card. Hopefully it's that one. If not, we're going to switch. <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna title this The Art of Not Giving a Fuck. <laughs> I think. Um so when I first moved to Atlanta back back in the 18, the 19, one of them bitches. Um I I met a lot of different people. They were talking about a lot of different things and opening my eyes to a lot of different shit. Um, one thing that they were talking about a lot was not giving a fuck. But not, not only that, reading. When I came out here, I learned about reading. And I, when I say reading, like people actually read. People actually go to the store and buy books and shit. People... Um, out here writing books. Um, it's some talented, talented, talented people in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, black people. Eva, mm. even the ones that I no longer associate myself with, talented bitches. Period. So. I felt like I was lacking a lot of knowledge before I came to Atlanta. And I was right. So, somebody told me like, you know, you should go read. Just, it might help, you know what I'm saying? You take your mind off some shit. And I was like, bet. And my room looking mess because we about to move. <clears throat> this was the first book I bought. Not giving a fuck. Did I read the whole book? No. <laughs> uh, but I read majority of it. The whole time, he was talking about how not to give a fuck. Like, <laughs> literally, was talking about giving zero down. 
And in the process of reading that book, I'm just like, yo, this shit is so cliche. If it was that simple, everybody would be doing it. Was how I felt. But truth in the matter is, the only reason why we have emotions, the only reason why we have <laughs> symptoms of emotions <laughs> is because we give a fuck. Where am I going with this? So, I've met a lot of cool people. I have a circle of about five. Good five, too. And when I tell you none of them give a fuck. I have never met so many people in my life. <laughs> Even my girlfriend. Zero. Just none. Just, all right, well. We figured out. Okay, well, you know, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, don't care. Is it on there? Is it on there? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. They just really don't care. Um, for the past few months, I've been having, well, not been having now. Uh, the beginning of 2021, I was having issues with learning my, what you call that shit? My, um, my love language, my triggers, triggers and my um, moon lightning shining armor. No. Moon and my rising. And for people that don't know about moons and rising, you're not even gonna understand what I'm saying. But to those that get it, this year I learned my moon and rising. Now, I brought up the book because it's just ironic when I first moved here. That was the book I was directed to. Read the book a little bit. Still trying to learn not to give a fuck. You know, some people have issues with caring a little too much. <clears throat> caring about something that's out of your control is really insanity. <laughs> and it was consuming me. So I was really insane at, at one point. And I'm sure y'all know that. Just gave a damn too much about the wrong shit that I wasn't supposed to be giving a damn about. You know what I mean? So as I've been living here, I've been going through the motions of just learning when to care in certain situations. Uh, learning when to just just learning discernment. Just learning discernment with the right and wrong things, the right and wrong people, the um, right time to do something and the wrong time to do something is what I've been learning. And my discernment now, after what, about a year and a half and a couple lessons, a couple blessings, and losing, not losing shit. Um, getting rid of a couple people. I can officially say that book was a great purchase. I don't care. <laughs> I'm so happy that I don't. I'm not arguing. I'm not. Um, getting upset. I will get flustered. My anxiety will take over me from time to time. But I've learned to control it. That is my biggest battle right now. Anxiety. Not hair in my downs. Damn. 
If I was at a restaurant, whole meal would have been free. <laughs> okay. Um, certain things that I guess since the pandemic, you know, normally we used to go out, you know, have some fun in, in the public. Ever since the pandemic, child, we wasn't going anywhere. Like, we didn't go get this food. Like, life has been, it's to the point where you don't have to leave your house for shit. And that's a gift and a curse because I'm not the only one that's dealing with this. Basically, going out in public now is a shaky thing for some. Um, it has been for me for a while. Because I got so used to being in the house, not realizing vicariously I'm training myself to not want to be outside. And in the back of my mind, but like I ain't no bitch though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, girl, you gonna go outside. You know what I'm saying? TT likes to do museums and parks and shit like that, which is good because we both not on that club shit. Thank you, Jesus. The club is not a good place for me. The club is very dark for me. I learned that in these past two years. I'm just updating y'all on me here at this point. You know what, with mug mugmanks, I'm just gonna talk. Hell, you could like it or not, I don't even care anymore. Um, I like this though, I can talk. Um, what was that? The club. The club is a very, very dark place for me. I can do, I can do a bar, a lounge, and I know y'all like, what the hell is the difference? In Atlanta, it's a difference. In Atlanta, you know you at the club. And in Atlanta, you know you at a lounge. <laughs> you know the difference. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. When I first came to Atlanta, let me know. I ain't ever going um, back out to no club. Went to a spot with a couple rich TLC people I know. Shout out to Detox Tea and Nutriburst and shit. <laughs> It's about two in the morning or something. I'm filming. Um, I'm filming one of them. Been filming her all day. She paid me real good though to be with her all day. So we done eight. Went to a couple lounges, right? Eight. Uh, talk shit, shoot the shit, let her work, film, blah blah blah. I'm working. They wanted to go to an after hour spot. They just did not want to sit their ass down. No, so, I'm in a spot. We go to the back. We had a section, the last one, the last section on the corner. At this specific spot, it's a one way in, one way out. My grandma always told me, don't do one way in and one way out. So I'm already on edge about that. But I don't have my car. So I can't just leave. I could have called an Uber, but it's already two, three o'clock in the morning. It was gonna take some time. So it's like, you might just have to stay. So I'm cool. So these dudes at the end was just all in my space. It was in my area. And you could tell they was in a whole nother place mentally. They wasn't where we was at. Mentally, they was in a whole nother place. Next thing you know, I start seeing guns everywhere. <laughs> he got a gun, he got a gun, he got a gun. I'm like, oh, hell no. And they showing these guns like they phones and shit. You know how you just had your phone in the club? Mm -mm. These niggas got guns. I'm like, damn, man. Just my luck. Just my luck. They get the shooting up in this bit. Where I'ma go? The door all the way down that way. That's the only door. 
That was my last club experience in Atlanta. I'm straight. Mm -mm. I'm aware that they can do that in lounges too. But with a lounge out here is different. First of all, I don't really do too much nighttime shit. It's gonna be like midday. Like seven, eight, nine o'clock. I'm out that bitch in a couple of hours. But <clears throat> that really had my anxiety up <clears throat> for being out in public, especially in a club or a lounge or something like that. So I'm not with the shit no more with that. And I'm so glad. I done party all my life, bro. Like from 17 to 28, all I did was go to the club. Wasted a whole bunch of money. You know what I'm saying? Outfits and I mean, it was to the point I didn't want to pay a bill. I just want to buy an outfit for the club. <laughs> oh, I was like 19, 20 or something like that. But I'm good on that. But I'm happy. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. And I just learned from the people around me to just not give a fuck <laughs> and put my certain energy in certain places that they need to go. Um, I'm still a work in progress, but I'm better than I was two years ago. And I'm better than I was two years ago. Mm -hmm. A whole lot better. Shout out to Jesus. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> it was the Lord. It was God himself. It was God himself. No cap. But. I, I, I think I'm going to do mukbangs on this channel. Well, I know I'm going to do mukbangs on this channel. But like I said. I don't eat. I can't eat that much. This was a whole sandwich. A whole tuna sandwich. And some soup. I ate. One half of the sandwich and half the soup. Like, I don't know. I guess I'm going to be on the light side of the mukbang. <laughs> but I already do reactions on one channel. Well, two. I do pranks and challenges on the couple's channel. This is my main channel. I got to put my, my main shit on here. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking of vlog mukbangs. I mean vlog reactions uh mukbang reactions it could be that too just to not take the reactions away but i have a whole nother reaction channel so it's just there's a lot at this point but uh excuse me y'all let me know what y'all think i know a lot of y'all don't like the way i eat um y'all don't like the fact that i smack and shit like that i don't care um this is for the people that enjoy food and want to eat along with me. You know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. So, if y'all with the shits, stick around. If you're not, go to the reaction channel. If you don't want to do that, <laughs> go where you want to go, baby. But, um, that's really all I got to say, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. We are on to the next video. Let me know what subjects y'all want me to talk about because I, I like the fact that I can just talk. This is giving just talk. It's all right with me. So, yeah, y'all let me know. Hey, yeah.